A former personal assistant to Amber Heard said she never saw the actress suffer any physical abuse at the hands of then-husband Johnny Depp. But she said Heard once spit in her face when she asked for a higher salary. Key points. Heard's former personal assistant said Heard was frequently intoxicated and verbally abusive. Heard's former personal assistant said Heard was frequently intoxicated and verbally abusive Laurel Anderson, a couples therapist who worked with Heard and Depp in 2015 also testified. Laurel Anderson, a couples therapist who worked with Heard and Depp in 2015 also testified Ms. Anderson said as a couple, Depp and Heard engaged in mutual abuse. Heard descended into screaming fits of blind rage, sent incoherent text messages at 4 a.m., and was often drunk and high on illegal drugs. Kate James testified in a video deposition that was played in court Thursday during the trial for Depp's libel suit against Heard. Depp, on the other hand, was very calm, almost shy, like a total Southern gentleman, Ms. James said. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor has accused Heard of indirectly defaming him in a 2018 opinion piece that she wrote for the Washington Post. Heard refers to herself in the article as a public figure representing domestic abuse. The piece doesn't name Depp, but his attorneys argue that it clearly references a restraining order that Heard sought in May 2016, right after Depp told her he wanted a divorce. Depp denies abusing Heard, but Heard's lawyers say evidence will prove that he did. The actor's denials, they argue, lack credibility because he frequently drank and used drugs to the point of blacking out and failing to remember anything he did. The video testimony from Ms. James offered an inverse view, Depp was the peaceful one, she said, while Heard was frequently intoxicated and verbally abusive, including to her own mother and sister. Her poor sister was treated like a dog that you kicked, basically, Ms. James said. Ms. James who worked for Heard from 2012 to 2015, said she was paid very poorly. She said she was hired with an initial salary of $25 an hour, and that her duties ranged from picking up Heard's dry cleaning to talking with the actress's Hollywood agents. Ms. James said she also was tasked with picking up two copies of any magazine that featured Heard and storing them in the garage to prevent Depp from seeing them. Heard went into a blind rage when Ms. James failed to place the magazines in the garage, Ms. James said. Regarding Heard and Depp's time together, Ms. James said Heard was a very dramatic person who was deeply insecure in the relationship. Heard often called Ms. James to complain about Depp, she said. Kate James testifies via video. Some of the deposition focused on a text message Depp sent to Ms. James after he and Heard split up. Depp's text read, Come over for a spot of purple, and we'll fix her flabby as nice and good. A lawyer asked if spot of purple meant wine and whether her meant heard. Ms. James said she didn't want to speculate. This is the way he writes, Ms. James said of Depp. It's very random, and you don't sort of question it. He writes in a very abstract way. Lawyers also presented a video deposition of Laurel Anderson, a couples therapist who worked with Heard and Depp in 2015, when they were ages 29 and 52, respectively. Ms. Anderson said both suffered childhood abuse and as a couple, they were engaged in mutual abuse. Heard's father beat her, Ms. Anderson said, adding, it was a point of pride to her if she felt disrespected to initiate a fight. Heard would also rather be in a fight with Depp than see him leave and would strike him to keep him there, Ms. Anderson said. The therapist recalled a time when Heard told her that Depp was stepping up, as she would say, on a lot of drugs. Heard sought a restraining order against Depp in May 2016. And she slapped him because he was being incoherent and talking about being with another woman, Ms. Anderson said. Ms. Anderson said Depp told her that Heard gave as good as she got. She also said that in at least one session in which she saw Heard alone, the actress told her that Depp hit her. She said Heard showed her bruises, both in photos and in person. Ms. Anderson said Heard also told her that Depp at one point allegedly said, No one likes you. You're getting fame from me. I'm falling out of love with you. You're a whore. Heard wanted to want a divorce, but also didn't, 
and was still figuring out what to do, Ms. Anderson said. She loved him. He loved her. She wasn't stupid. She knew that what they were doing wasn't healthy, she said. Both Depp and Heard are expected to testify at the trial in Fairfax County Circuit Court, scheduled for six weeks, along with actors Paul Bettany and James Franco and tech entrepreneur Elon Musk. AP.